Hello and welcome back to my tutorials. Today we are going to learn how to make text with this really really cool effect. Now make a new canvas as always. Make sure the background content is transparent and the width is 400 and the height is 400 on pixels. And the resolution is 72 on RGB color. Now press OK. Now you will see um, black, I mean green, gray and white squares, meaning it's transparent, which is good. Now with your text tool, type whatever you want. You can use whatever font you want, whatever size. I'm going to use impact on 60 point and make sure it's on sharp type. Now type whatever you want. I'm going to type the text box. Now, make a new layer, and then press Circle, Control, and then click the layer thumbnail of your text layer. It will select around your text. Now, press D, then X, to get a white foreground color. Go to Edit, and then Fill. OK. And it will fill with white color. Circle D to deselect. Now you probably won't see it, but because of the transparent background, it will help you see it better. Now get out your elliptical marquee tool. If you can't see it, it's either the rectangular marquee tool, the single row marquee tool, or the single column marquee tool. Right click on that, and then select the elliptical marquee tool. Now, you would like to click and drag on the bottom of the text, just so. Now, press delete, and then press circle D to deselect. Now, see this? This is called the layers palette, the channels palette, the paths palette, the history palette, and the actions palette. But right now, you would like to be on the layers tab of this palette. Now change your opacity to 35%. Now you'll see that it's changed the white into a cool little layer where it's kind of like this um, transparent layer over uh, an opaque layer. Now, now we're going to make the reflection to add more like glossy feel to this. Go on your original text layer and then press Circle J to duplicate it. You'll see um, a, a layer of your duplicate. Now select that and select the Move tool. Now move the text under your um, glossy text and move it right under like so. Now go to Edit, Transform, and then Flip Vertical. It will make the reflection, see, but it look kind of confusing and not so good to the eye. So we'll give it also a glossy feel, but not like the, the radial transparent over opaque feel. We're going to give it a little gradient. Now back to the layers palette. Now see there are the buttons on the bottom of the palette. Now see this little thing that looks like a camera? which is a rectangle with a little circle inside. We'll click that and it will make put a link next to your thumbnail of your text copy layer. That means that you've just put a layer mask. Now that will help us in giving a reflection feel to your reflection depth. Now get your gradient, press shift, and then gradient like so. Now it will give in the feel to it. Now you can lower the opacity of the thing if you want. I'm just going to make it 75 so it can be visible. Now if you would like to put some more coolness into it, you can make a new layer and move it down to put in a background. Or you can go to your original copy layer, I meant original text layer, go to blending options, 
and then give it outer glow. Normal, precise. Now it'll give it a little glow, and you'll see a little F next to your layer. And that's the text tutorial. If I've gone too fast, I'll make a new tutorial more detailed. I'm in a really, really big rush. So if you have any questions, please comment. And thanks for watching.